What's up guys, welcome back to video number nine out of a 100 day video series. On this video, I teach you ways to be ultra productive. Welcome back guys, let's get right into the video. Today's topic, how to be ultra super hyper productive every day for the rest of your life until you die. All right, so number one, willpower. Willpower to me is like a muscle, like a gas tank, it can be used up if exhausted. So what you wanna do is make sure that you're not using up all your willpower throughout the day. And a good way to do that is to not go 100% max effort the whole day long. So if you wake up at 5 a.m., it's important that you don't just think that from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m., you're going at max speed, all right? Because you're gonna burn out by noon and you're gonna do nothing for the rest of the day, all right? So what you should do is you should just start. Willpower is very difficult to muster if you're not starting, if you're not moving. It, you build up anxiety, you're looking at this huge list, nothing's getting done, nothing's moving, and it just worse and worse and worse, and your willpower is going down and down and down. It's not something that you can just say, try harder, I gotta do better, because the more you say that, the less willpower, willpower you actually have, all right? So, most important thing is start. Just start. Have you ever tried to talk yourself into the gym and you spent like an hour, two hours trying to say, oh man, I gotta go to the gym today, I gotta get it done. And the hardest part was getting to the gym. Once you got to the gym, you were able to bang out a killer workout, you felt like a million bucks and everything was great. A few weeks later, you've developed that habit and now you no longer need to talk yourself into going to the gym. You just go because it's a habit, all right? So the most important thing for willpower is to start. The second thing that I've noticed with willpower is once you start something, if you don't finish it, it's in the back of your brain. It's gonna be like a little tick that annoys you unless, until you get that done, or at least for me. Like if I do, if I fold half of my clothes, I know that I need to go finish the other half to get the task done. And that's something that can help you too, right? So number one, willpower. Start, get it done. Number two, time management. This is crazy crucial. I love to plan my day the night before, create a big, big list of all the things I have to get done, make things as easy as you can the night before for your following day. The less your mind has to think the next day, the better of a chance you have to create momentum in your day and start tackling your list, right? Things like organizing your clothes, making sure that everything is done, organized, so you have everything ready to go so you can just start and run with it, all right? The next thing that you should do in time management is to schedule intervals throughout your day where you are max efficient, right? So let's say you wanna spend 90 minutes of max effort and then you take 15, 20 minutes off to relax and enjoy. This is gonna keep you energized throughout the day. But it's really important that you actually work for the 90 minutes and you actually break for the 15 minutes. Go for a walk, go for a swim. Maybe do a workout, play some video games, relax, watch some YouTube videos, check out Instagram, right? Make sure you do that for 15 because it's gonna recharge your batteries for the next 90 minutes, all right? Interval training is really, really important to get super productive results at the end of the day. Then as you get better, you can increase the times when you're working max effort. So instead of 90 minutes, you're doing 120 minutes with a 15 minute break. All right, so you're getting better and better. You're working that muscle, you're improving, all right? The last thing that I love doing for a time management perspective thing is you wanna give yourself a deadline. So you have your list, you do everything you can to get that list done today. There's no thinking about tomorrow, there's no thinking about yesterday or five years from now. You do everything you can to get the list done today. You do it like your life depends on it, right? I find if you focus only on the moment with a purpose, you're really, really effective when you're tackling the things on your list. If you're spending all your day worrying about the things that haven't happened tomorrow or five years from now, you'll get nothing done. So it's really important that you focus in the moment and you drive forward with a purpose, all right? Number three, prioritize. 
This is really, really huge. What I love doing is I put the biggest things at the top of the list first thing in the day. So if I have the most important things that are gonna get you the closest to your goal, that's what you should do bright and early. As soon as you wake up, go do those things. Why? Because if you do all the small things first, you're just building up anticipation for the big things and the big things actually become bigger than they actually are, right? So do the big things first, get them out of the way and you'll be able to fly through all the small things a lot easier, okay? Prioritize, all right? Momentum, number four is momentum. What you have to do, I find is really hard sometimes, especially when you're just learning how to be productive, is to start early in the morning tackling your biggest, darkest tasks, okay? What I like doing is I like doing like a starter task where it's like maybe I, as soon as I wake up, shower, brush my teeth, get things going. Or maybe I wake up, I go for a quick walk, a little run, just something to get the momentum going. Just jump starting the day so you can go into the big tasks a lot easier with momentum, all right? And I find it really helps and I think that if you don't do that at first, it's really hard to get that, that momentum to build the habits that you need to move forward, all right? So that's number four. So willpower, willpower is number one, then you have time management, uh, prioritize, and momentum. Those are the four things that I recommend for you to have a super productive <laughs> day, all right? A bonus tip for you guys would be to write down a daily log. At the end of each day, right before you make your list for the next morning, write down a log. All the things that you did right, all the things that you did wrong, and the things that you can do tomorrow to improve on what you did wrong, okay? If you guys do this every single day, there's gonna be a compound effect and it's gonna be better and better and better, right? You'll be superhuman at the end of a month, right? Think about all the things that you're doing wrong and if you eliminate that the next day and improve on what you did right, you just become like a superhuman. It's amazing, right? Albert Einstein didn't wear socks because his feet kept putting holes in it. Right, so he eliminated the things that he did wrong and just made things better for him in the future, all right? Now it's really important when you're thinking about what you can do better is you think about your end goal, right? Have something to compare yourself to. You don't know what you did wrong unless you're thinking about the end result, the end you know, picture. Like an architect building a home. You've got a, a blueprint of what the house or design is gonna look like and going along, if it doesn't look like the plan, you make adjustments to make it look like the final product, right? Or the blueprint. If you guys found these four tips helpful in that bonus, drop a like, a comment, and a sub, and I will see you guys in video number 10 out of a 100 day video series. Goodbye. <laughs>